Good morning. This weekend I was reading the story about a German-born preacher by the name of George Mueller. Now, Mueller, of course, didn't start out as a preacher, and in fact, by his own admission, in his youth, he was something of a wild child. He said he was a liar, he was a thief, he was a gambler. His father was a tax collector, and George stole government money from his dad to fund his card-playing habits. This continued in his teenage years and into his college years, and it was while he was at college that he attended a prayer meeting one night with a friend, and he said his life was changed. He decided to turn his life over to Jesus and to become a different person. When he went home and told his father, his father helped to fund him getting spiritual education so that he could then become a minister. But once becoming a preacher, he felt bad about taking a salary from the church. He felt like people would only give out of obligation rather than from their hearts if they knew they had to pay a salary. So he walked away from that kind of ministry, relocated to Bristol, England, rented a house with his wife, and began caring for orphans. At first it was just a few, but then he rented another house and another house, and ultimately he had almost 2,000 orphans that he was caring for. Now what made his ministry unique was not that he was caring for orphans, many people were doing that, but he did not ever solicit funds for his efforts. So as he was buying and building houses, he never asked for funds. He prayed, he called out to God, and he always trusted that God would provide, and he did. There's one famous story about Mueller that one morning, early in his ministry, he was sitting down to breakfast with his children, and there was nothing to eat. But he had them set the table. They sat down and they prayed to God, thanking him for the food that was not yet there. And at the end of the prayer, a knock came on the door. The local baker walked in with enough bread to feed all of the orphans. And as he was finishing, another knock on the door came. The milkman's cart had broken down in front of the orphanage. And he brought in his remaining milk so that it wouldn't be spoiled. The children had breakfast. There's another story about Mueller later in his life. He was crossing the Atlantic on a ship coming over to speak in Quebec, Canada. And on the way over, the captain of the ship told him, we're getting into heavy fog. I'm going to have to slow down. You're not going to make your appointment. Mueller said, may I go down and to the boiler room and pray with those who are leading this ship. And the captain said, fine, knock yourself out. It's not going to do any good. He went down and prayed. The captain went with him, prayed for the fog to lift so that they could make their journey in time. The captain started to pray with him after he watched what he was doing. And he said to the captain, there's no need. God has already answered the prayer. I know this because this is how he has acted throughout my entire life. And when they went back up to the bridge, the fog had lifted, and he was able to make his way. What was unique and what was powerful about George Mueller is he, in the course of his life, took care of over 10,000 orphans. In today's dollars, over 113 million British pounds were raised for the care and feeding of those orphans, and that organization still exists today, almost 200 years later, all through the faith of a man who refused to take matters into his own hands. In fact, one of his famous quotes was, faith does not operate in the realm of the possible. There's no glory for God in that which is humanly possible. And so my challenge for you this week, and for me as well, is to ask yourself, where is it that I'm holding on to things and not turning them over to God in faith? Where is it that I'm limiting the possible because I'm only looking at what I can see? The writer of Hebrews says, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Where is it 
that you are failing to allow God to work in your life, in your job, in your family, in your opportunities, because you are placing limits on God. Let's all think about the example of George Mueller this week. And let's pray to God in faith that he will help us to see the possibilities that only he can fulfill. Have a great week.